One of the biggest headlines last week was the retirement of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. Here to tell us more about what comes next and finding his replacement and more about judges in general right here on the Sun Coast is lawyer Anna Marie Rizzo from the Law Place in Sarasota. Welcome back. Hi. Always great to see you. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> All right, this is a hot button issue. So politics aside, ladies, everybody <laughs> play by the rules here. This is still a very big deal no matter which side of the political fence you are on. So explain what happens next in picking a Supreme Court justice. So the president gets to appoint someone that he feels will best fill the shoes of Justice Kennedy and then there has to be a confirmation by the Senate by a majority vote and then they get sworn in. So it's a it's a very quick process. It's, it's an appointment by the president. Um, you know Justice Kennedy was a great justice. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't really one side or the other. He was somebody who oftentimes was a swing vote in a lot of decisions. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I think that just having someone that's fair, someone that's going to apply the Constitution to whatever decision they're making is someone that would be a good fit, regardless of what your political affiliation mm -hmm. is. So we're hearing about this so much on the national scale, but you have pointed out that some very important judge elections and appointments are happening right here on the Sun Coast. Give us a quick primer about what's coming up for vote in August and how not all judges get elected even though we think they do. Right, so locally what's been happening, it's been kind of on the news a little bit as, as to where our judges are retiring before their term is up. Mm -hmm. And so it goes to an appointment by the governor, uh, except there's no confirmation vote in, anywhere. So once the appointment's done, it's done. And so our voters locally are not having an opportunity to voice their opinions as to who they want as the person sitting on these cases. And in August, we have an election coming up. It is a circuit court election. It's, we have two people. We have someone who was recently appointed, and that term is up for what where the original judge was okay. who retired. So you're only appointed to the end of the original term. Exactly. Okay. Got it. So you're not really an incumbent because you weren't ever elected. You were okay. just appointed. Now so you now you run. actually have to run. Right. Um, it in t oftentimes, people haven't been running. We do have someone running. Uh, this year, which is just very uncommon. So, so it it's is an opposed. It is an it is an opposed election, and so it is an important election for everyone to get out there and vote because it, it affects every single one of us here locally. Help us understand that, because I'll admit I'm very guilty when the list of the judges comes out. Yeah, you know, you other than them. other than familiar names that uh -huh. have been around, you don't know. If I'm not a lawyer, I'm hopefully not going into the courtroom to see this judge. Why does it matter to me? Well, no one knows when they're going to end up in front of a judge. So that's really the important thing. I mean, we don't, some people are like, well, I don't do criminal work. I'm not going to be in front of a judge. Okay, well, it's not just about people who are getting in trouble with the law. If you ever been through a divorce or child custody case or a personal injury case, let's say you got into a car accident, any kind of lawsuit, these are people who are making those decisions, restraining orders. You need somebody that is knowledgeable of all aspects of the law, mm -hmm. has represented human beings. That's a really important thing because if you don't know what it's like to, ha to represent an actual person going through the process, that is a very difficult concept for you to understand as the judge overseeing these court cases. Um, someone who is just able to interpret the law and, and interpret how it applies to our Constitution, all important factors. And when you're an individual, really strongly believing in your case, whether you're a mom fighting for the rights of your kid or, you know, a, a father fighting for their rights, whatever it may be, it is very important that you have a well-rounded mm -hmm. judge sitting on that bench making those so decisions. So important to do our research for the upcoming election in August. Absolutely. Also quickly, because you're here and it's a holiday week, please remind everybody what, if someone should get in trouble this week, how to go about making sure it's handled correctly. Absolutely. So just like you're, where you're talking about the Coast Guard, I mean, that's a good reason for them to just come on board of your boat, on your vessel, and then see that you have been drinking, and before you know it, you're having a boating under the influence. Mm. They are going to be out there. They're going to be enforcing all DUI laws, all boating under the influence laws. Make sure you know your rights. Make sure you don't get in trouble, and don't drink and drive. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And Good for any legal questions, you know to find Anne Marie at the Law Place. And the website is thelawplace.com. Great to see you. Have a safe and happy fourth. Coming up next, we're going to celebrate the fourth right here with a bit of a summer treat for grown-ups. Stay with us.